This new type of Roblox game where the whole idea is to steal things from other people has really been going viral recently. So I wanted to make my own. But I can't really code or make Roblox games in general. So today I decided I'm going to use Cursor. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like Visual Studio Code but with AI built into it. And I already started, I said to it just asking if it's aware of the new trending Roblox game, Steal a Brain Rot, because that's the most popular. But it ended up not really knowing. Either way, I still tried with whatever information it could get about it. So it started by making these two different teams. One blue and then one red. I'm not quite sure why it's done that, but anyways it also made a president right in the middle. Because my idea for the game was steal a president or steal a world leader. Just because I couldn't really find anyone that's done that yet. So I wanted to take advantage of something that hasn't been done. And here, so it's got our checklist of things that we need to add to it. I'll just go on to steal a brain rot so that I can see some of the features that it has and how the map's designed. So what I'm going to do is send a screenshot of this to the AI that's, that I'm using in cursor. So that actually has an idea of what I wanted to do. So I took that screenshot and I'll upload it here and say, this is what I want the base and map to look like. Then I'll also just send it a screenshot of this middle conveyor belt so that it knows the main features and layout of the game. So what it does is basically plans everything out and then it executes it. So it makes all the scripts for me, it puts them in their places and names them. It can also create parts inside of Studio without me having to build things. If you really want to, make sure you leave a comment and I'll make a video on how to set this up, cursor or even Visual Studio Code with Roblox. So make sure you leave a comment if you want that, otherwise I probably won't do it. I've just got it to try and make the terrain for me as well as the rest of the map, but it's having some issues. So what I'm gonna do is just copy and paste what it says in the console as the output and then send it to it. I'm also going to say, just don't build it in a script, build it so it's always in workspace, because I read in its previous thing saying that it could do it in a script, but I don't want that since then it won't be easy to change without modifying the whole script. It ended up making this weird red thing and then the blue on the other side. I'm pretty sure it got a bit confused and thought this is kind of a capture the flag game. So what I'm going to do is write a detailed description of how these steal a game works. And then, yeah, so I'll send it and just hope that it will then understand. While I'm doing this, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment if you're enjoying the video so far. Make sure you also watch the end to see what the final result is and if the game worked. So I gave it my detailed description and now it's actually working. As you can see, it made this conveyor in the middle. I'll just click play so you can see. So it's got the present right there, middle, as well as this conveyor where things will spawn and move along. The next step is the actual plot where players will spawn on and they'll get to place their presidents or world leaders on. And then after that, they'll handle the spawning of the presidents as well as the buying and other things. So that's what I've done here. I've asked it to make the plot for me and then it did that, but they were too close to ask them to space them out a bit further from the conveyor belt. And also explained why, just for context. So here, it actually updates live. So as soon as it finishes the coding, or just however it's going to make it, then it'll apply it. So now I'm just going to save the game so I can make the player's walk speed a bit faster. Naming it Steal a President. Also, make sure you leave a comment if you want me to release this game, if you think you want to play it. And here, so I'll just change the walk speed, I'll make it a bit faster, and now I can test it. So players can walk faster now. I'll move on to the next mechanic. What I've done now is made it so when players join the game, It'll assign them a plot. So here I've joined and you can see over there it has my name and says it's my base. So you need to also make it so that players will spawn inside of it. Not inside it, but inside of their base, if you know what I'm talking about. Instead of spawning right in the middle of the map where all of their stuff that they have will be unprotected. You can see it generating the output. I can now run the game and test it. I'm really hoping this works without too many issues, but no, so it's still not teleporting me straight onto it. I don't think it'll be too hard to fix. What I'm going to say to it is this. First, I'm just going to tell it it didn't seem to work. And it's still spawning me in the middle of the map. And then I'm going to suggest how it can fix it. 
So making sure that it's teleporting the player after they've been assigned their plot. And so I'll send that, it will generate, then it will prepare for the next moves and you can see it outputting as it does it. It just gave me a new script and applied it for me. Now let's see if it works. Yep, so it actually teleported me straight onto this when I spawned without me having to run over or do anything else. Now I need to make sure all the presidents spawn. First I'll just do one and then I'll eventually do stuff with rarities and earnings. And so I'm just going to say to it, okay great, next step. For some reason it keeps asking me shall I proceed after telling me what it needs to do. I wish it would just do it without me saying that it needs to. But now they're spawning, they're just not moving. So that's one step, I just need to get them moving. I think it should be able to fix it pretty easily. Also, in case you're wondering, I'm using Gemini 2.5 Pro for the responses instead of just putting it on auto. And it says that it's corrected it, so we'll see if it works. There was an error in the code, so I want to try something new. Instead of using Gemini 2.5 Pro just for this, I'll try something different. So in here, there's all these different models. I might use this one, 03, because it says it's good for complex problems. And yeah, so I'll just select that. And then what I'm going to do is try to just ask it to read through everything and find any issues. And then also provide the, the console where there was actually an error logged. So find the president spawn over there and then slowly go down the conveyor belt. I'm not sure why they're spinning. Because like, they start upright, but then they fall over. Either way, it's working, so I can finally move on from this. Now I just told it to create all the scripts it needs for the next steps, and so it's doing that now. So what it's done now is added that little cache thing at the top of my screen, and I just clicked the so you click them to grab. I don't really like that, so I'll probably ask it to change it, but for now you can basically buy or grab these things off the conveyor belt. Next step is make it so you can actually have them inside of your base after you buy them and also make them easier to grab. It also need to display the amount it costs, the amount it generates, and also its rarity. First thing I really wanted it to do is just make it easier for players to grab. Float to the player's base, and then place itself in one of the designated areas that it can be in. I'm also making the limit 8, and then I'll either make it so players can buy more with Robux or just with coins in the game to store more presidents. So now I'll go test it, and here it is. So you can walk up to these things, click E, and then they'll float over to your base. It actually looks really cool how they float and then make themselves upright again. And they also get anchored and turn solid. But they're not making me any money and yeah, so it's not really functioning yet. So first I sent it the issues that were in the console and also got it to now give the players income based on what presence they have and how many they have as well as other things. So now you can see my money up because I bought a bunch of presidents and because for some reason it made that to buy rare things instead of spawning them. And so that's what I'll do now. So this is what I got. The different rarities are spawning here. I also got it to give them names that are puns of their original names. And also you can see the different colors. It says the price and then also once you buy them it'll tell you how much they earn per second. But I think to make it easier, I might make it so you can see the amount that they earn before you buy them. And I've done that now just by telling the AI basically exactly what I wanted. So here it says the rarity, the amount it'll earn you, and the cost. It's also got different colors for the rarity, so it's easily identifiable. I think this all looks pretty good with the different presents that you can get with their rarities, and then also earning cash. However, I need to add the steal mechanic because that's the main part of these games. But first, I went through all of these placements and made them visible so that you know how many spots you got left before it's all full. So I asked the AI to make it so you can steal the other player's presidents by interacting and holding for 5 seconds. Then it said it's not able to create features that enable players to steal from other players. I don't actually see why they'd make that a thing, a restriction. Just because that's my game mechanics, it's nothing bad. But I thought I could get around that, so I tried that by saying this. So what I did is I told it I, by basically just making it really urgent, saying it's the main feature of the game and it really just needs to be a part of it. 
And then it actually finally understood that it needs to help me do this because it's a part of the game and not griefing or anything bad. And here I'm testing it. I did just a split screen and then went to the other person's base. And here you can see the stealing worked. And that's it for this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment if you want me to finish this game and also if you think you'll play it. And thanks for watching to the end. Bye.